Your power's a weak old man. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Here's an interesting one I've been sitting on for a minute. Uh, entire McDonald's staff quit mid-shift in viral TikTok video. This is from the Independent of London. Times are tough for hospitality staff right now, but it's not every day a restaurant's entire workforce throws in the towel at the same time. This is, however, allegedly what happened at one branch of McDonald's where staff members spontaneously decided to quit. Sounds like something I would do. TikTok user Zoe is back, captured the moment on video showing a handwritten note reading, Everyone quit, we are closed. The camera then pans around the abandoned fast food joint as the caption reads, When everyone quit unexpectedly at the same time. This short clip racked up more than 10.5 million views in just two days. The fellow TikTokers voiced their support for the workers' move. I think anyone who's worked in service is collectively green good for you guys one wrote i wish this would happen more often i wouldn't be mad if i walked in as a customer commented another a third offered zoe and her now ex-colleagues worker solidarity adding that their protest tells me more about how terrible the workplace is than the employees and a fourth said this is what happens after years of bad upper management and corporations making money on the backs of the poor. Responding to suggestions that employees had walked out in protest over low wages, Zoe wrote, y'all, we didn't quit from our pay. The store was run by teenagers and it was a terrible place to work. The higher ups had trouble helping us when needed. She added, it's a bad job to start with, but that's where most teenagers start for experience. So that's where I put myself. Zoe is not the only social media user to spotlight the strain restaurant workers are under, particularly in light of, of the COVID panic. Earlier this month, a photo went viral on Twitter showing a note posted outside a different McDonald's branch reading, we're closed because I'm quitting this job. Some users were shocked that a single person could be responsible for running an entire branch, really, while others focused on staffing shortages across the industry. The debate came after hospitality workers shared a video of her suffering a panic attack caused by the stresses of her job. The TikTok clip showed a young woman called Tay sobbing and struggling to breathe as she tried to deal with unrelenting demands from customers. She captioned the recording, when you're understaffed and overwhelmed and the customers won't stop yelling at you. A recent survey of almost 1,000 workers in the UK found that one in three said the coronavirus crisis had made them rethink their career, while one in four blamed poor pay for wanting to find another job. This is why people didn't want to come back to work. Two out of five respondents to the study by job site CV Library said they had quit because they had believed the industry was unpredictable as a result of the pandemic. Chefs who move away from the industry often took up work as warehouse operatives, said the report. Lee Biggins, the chief executive of CV Library, said the hospitality industry faces a crucial few months ahead repercussions of which will last for some time. We aren't just seeing the effects of the pandemic, Brexit, and the continuation of staff on furlough. It also plays a huge part in a shortage of candidates in the hospitality industry. They're not paying enough. There are available staff out there, but in order to recruit flexibility, competitive pay, and other benefits must be carefully considered in order to secure these in-demand candidates. This is a thing. People wonder why there's uh, worker shortages and I think COVID-19 and the furloughs gave people a year to rethink their whole life and their whole career you know you know if you're on a treadmill a hamster wheel and you're continually running trying to catch up but you never do but thing is the cheese is right in front of you right and you keep trying to run to get it but you never do and years and years go by and you're tired with things you can't stop because if you stop, things will crash, right? What happens when all of a sudden something comes in and gives you a pause, gives you a break, gives you time away from what you were doing to think about it and think about how miserable your life has been even though you're working very hard. 
Now, some people have decent jobs and they can't wait to get back. But there's a whole segment that have been struggling. 42% of, of people make less than $18,000 a year. And they make this money at miserable jobs where they're overworked. What happens when you have enough time and enough space to reconsider how you live your life and what kind of job you want to do, to explore your other options, have time and distance and freedom to explore your other options. What happens when that goes on? What happens when that time comes? This is what you're saying. So there's a people talk about people need to get back to work because they're lazy, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, capitalism sometimes, if it's oppressive, especially corporate capitalism, can be miserable and can grind people into dust. And what, what happens when the Luddites get tired of the machines grinding them into dust? This is what you're going to see. And this is what you're going to see going forward because it's not going to stop here. This is just the tip of the iceberg. And with automation coming in, this is going to be a test. Okay, will people participate in this economy? Will people participate in what's going on? Because I don't care what you build. I don't care what you automate. Machines don't make an economy. Machines don't make things for themselves. Machines make things for people. What happens when people don't want to participate in the civilization that you build? It'll collapse. Something to think about. But I just wanted to drop this here as a note. Put a pen in it. It's not a judgment. It's just something to think about. Because going forward, this is not going to go away. You can see it at Amazon. There's articles about Amazon and their drivers and what's going on with their, with them and in their warehouses. American workers are not used to being treated like third world serfs or like 18th century slaves. They're not used to being treated like that. We've come too far in advance to be thrown back into that kind of capitalism. So it may get rocky over the next few years. Human beings are not machines. Human beings have will. What happens when they decide to exercise it? But we're going to see, right? Anyway, with that, I'm going to jump off here. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.